so hi guys this is day before exam what are the must read topics in income tax so here i have listed i have i have made a two list like i have given you two list here and one list is this one is last priority so day before exam these are the topics that you can give last priority means only if you have time read them otherwise don't read them now immediately those of you who are seeing this last priority list by seeing this tds tcs some of you might get offended saying sir tds tcs is the most important topic damn sure five to seven marks will come yes i know but remember you know when when i when i when i prepare whenever i give an exam strategy or when i want to guide student what i look for is what is the time a particular topic takes if you spend that amount of time what is the percentage of chances that you will not do mistake in that these two parameters i consider whenever i'm recommending you see my ca inter audit strategy ca final audit strategy videos also what i basically consider is how much time a topic takes to prepare and what is the weightage from that we can expect in a worst scenario and how far the student can write that particular topic related questions with 100% accuracy these three parameters are important and you know in all these three parameters in all these three parameters according to me tds chapter fails tds chapter fails in all these three parameters why because you can see examiner comments like you know you you get student journals right in that student journals once results are announced immediately if at all any student journal is there okay nowadays i think ICI is not sending student journals but the examiner comments you can find somewhere you can find what are the examiner comments most of the comments of the examiner related to tds tcs is students are writing wrong answers straight away wrong if at all a question comes on tds and tcs some twist will be there in every section suppose there are six sections like 194a uh, 194h 194i 194j 194c 194r in all these six sections if at all the ssc previous year turnover is not exceeding 1 crore in this year these six sections do not apply first of all and these sections read with 40 a 140 a 1 year dissolvents they combine it in the nas the tds question on this damn sure students will write wrong answer in this very less number of students will have that much patience to interpret that and clearly understand and if an ssc who is not treated as ssc in default as per 201 because of the payee has filed IT rate and all that, you know, uh, and paid tax. If you furnish that documents, dissolvents will not attract because it is not treated as tedious non-compliance. Such a complicated question in tedious. So what, what students think, you know, tedious TCS chapter, you know, I'll tell you, should I tell you honestly, in tedious TCS chapters, more than 30 sections were there, more than 30. And many sections, especially rent related sections, 194 I series, some students will still confuse. So there are many sections and if at all a question come from TCS, more than 70% of the students, they don't even understand TCS provisions correctly. They don't give importance. Only TDS provisions, they give importance, which are some 20, 22 sections. Getting it? So the possibility, the studying of TDS chapter itself is a bit difficult because it's voluminous, 100 pages, man. TDS, TCS chapter is 100 pages. And you know what? PGBP is also 100 pages. But you know, if you read PGBP, which is also equal to the size of TDS, which is equal to the size of TDS. In fact, PGBP, you know, it looks little lengthy compared to TDS chapter when we are preparing because of the conceptual discussion we do. But once you understand PGBP, you can never do a mistake in PGBP. That's the advantage of PGBP. Whereas even if you understand TDS, TCS, if you do not remember the percentage and exceptions given in each and every section, you do mistake. And in exam, they test on those exceptional points. So that's why I kept TDS TCS at a last priority. And moreover, the maximum weightage of TDS TCS is 5 to 8 marks. That's it. Worst case. Sir, how come we lose 5 to 8 marks chapter? I'm not asking you to lose 5 to 8 marks. I'm asking you to focus on the remaining 50 marks of the paper. Remaining 50 marks of the paper, you know, income tax you will get for 72 marks approximately. Choice 120 marks is with 60% weightage is for income tax. 40% weightage is for GST. So you will get GST 48 marks. 8 marks you will have choice. 40 marks you need to attempt. In income tax you will, you will get 72. You have 12 marks choice. Le? So which means you are supposed to attempt 60 only. If at all you are attempting these 60 marks perfectly out of, you know, 60 out of 60 perfectly, you will get 60 marks fully. But who are, you know, in tax, ideal income tax, 
but i tell students to give first priority to gst because gst syllabus is comparatively very less in comparison to income tax suppose if income tax is 100 gst is 65 to 70 only the syllabus voluminous and uh, not even 60 again say 60 only income tax is 100 for 60 marks 60 for 40 the proportionate also you can find very gst is very less even if you compare the number of hours we take class in our institute gst which is handled by mama sir already marathon uploaded you know approximately 75 hours gst whereas income tax we take 125 hours almost equal to double 50 hours extra so income tax is definitely a lengthy subject but if you if you ignore these topics what are the topics i'll show you return of income if possible you study once because it's an easy chapter small chapter you study for sure tds tcs advanced tax you can keep it at last priority if at all you have not yet studied or you studied but somehow you're not confident keep it aside ignore rest all other topics you become perfect first look at what are the topics which i mentioned under last priority exempted incomes by the way within exempted incomes there is a section called 10 a that is again important because in our class we discuss 10 a as part of total income we discuss along with total income 10 a is important why any question on 115JAE, 115BAC will be only based on 10 AA and definitely 115BAC optional tax raising, 115JAE alternate minimum tax, this is a very important sections in total income. In fact, in May 23 attempt, of course, they tested a total income problem which is PGBP based. You know what? 14 marks question they tested. Salaries they tested for some 8 marks. Income from salaries they tested some 8 marks. In every attempt, a total income problem will come for 12 to 14 marks which is either pgbp based or which is either salaries based predominant discussion in the total income is either salaries or pgbp and if you are perfect in income from salary pgbp and other sources these three head of incomes especially i'm telling you damn sure you can attempt for 15 marks to 20 marks without any difficulty minimum i'm telling you this is minimum if these three chapters alone weightage and if at all you are even perfect in house property and clubbing set off and carry forward chapter 6a getting it and total income you can attempt for another 10 to 15 marks damn sure perfectly and if at all along with that you became perfect in residential status another 5 marks to 9 marks again remember in residential status according to me section 9 income deem, income accrue or arise in india or deem to accrue or arise in india again that's the last priority topic you see here what i listed is last priority topics not chapters so in that TDS full chapter is lost priority. Exempted incomes except section 10 AA. It is entirely agriculture related taxation. You keep it aside. Section 68-69 series. You know section 68-69 is covered in ICO material basic concepts. 68-69. Unexplained cash credit. Unexplained expenditure. Unexplained investments. All that. Black money related provision. Where 115 BEE. That's it. 60% tax rate plus 25% surcharge. Huh. And provident fund taxation in salary. What is provident fund taxation in salaries? In salaries chapter, you have a big table. Contribution to RPF, contribution to URPF, contribution to SPF, contribution to PPF. In that additional conditions, if contribution to, you know, RPF is more than 2 and a half lakh, the excess of the 2 and a half lakh on that, whatever interest is, that is that, that is so complicated. If you put amount and energy, you if you put your time and energy on understanding that, in, in the meantime, you can finish any of these first priority chapters, proper revision. And in salaries, there is another concept called accretion to retirement funds in excess of 700 of lakh is a perquisite. Interest on accretion. That is, again, for that they have given a formula like PC1 plus PC2, TP2 into R, like they have given a formula, PC plus taxable perquisite is equal to, they have given a big formula, a big computation method. Ignore it, not required. 99.99% they don't test at all these items. Retrenchment compensation they don't test because they have not given single illustration. Moreover, you rarely find retrenchment compensation. And in fact, I recently uploaded salaries marathon and I already uploaded chapter 6 year clubbing setup and carry forward marathon. Please watch it. Still many more revision classes on income tax will come in the YouTube in the next one week to 10 days. Section 27 in house property deemed ownership. You can, you, you can absolutely ignore. In capital gains 46, 46, 50, 40. These three you can ignore. 46 is distribution of assets by company on liquidation. 46 a buyback provision. 50, 40 compulsory acquisition of industrial land. On that if you buy another industrial land, you will get capital gains exemption. That point, these three sections you need not study at all. So these are the topics which you can absolutely ignore. No need to, you know, uh, study all these topics. 
provided you have you are perfect in all this whatever i have listed out in this blue color you are perfect in all these topics only then you can ignore the right side okay so first you should always give first priority to all these basic concepts in this rates of tax of individual rates of tax for various ssc's surcharge limits for individuals all that especially that surcharge concept is very important because ex exclusive problem will come on surcharge one time if you learn and understand that's enough even if you don't reverse nothing happens just if you remember surcharge rates that's enough you can do any problem and on this i have made a video already which i uploaded long ago so you can find see how much a surcharge concept you, you will find a video residential status in that individual residential status is very important even in may 23 november 22 individual residential status has been tested many times deemed resident concept 120 days concept 60 days concept on this they will give you indian citizen indian origin that question they'll twist you like anything income from salaries of course all the provisions except whatever i told you here so pf accretion and retrenchment except this remaining all that you can study anyhow i have given a marathon pgbp you can study you have to study every section because everything is important in this but in this pgbp also if at all you want me to select any provision 35d 35dd getting it so 35 uh, preliminary expenditure and vrs related compensation these two if you want you can ignore getting it 35dd yeah so then other sources all the provisions you have to study well house property except a deemed owner concept rest everything you have to study well capital gains you have to study everything except 46 40 or 54d getting it clubbing entire provision set up and carry forward entire provisions getting it chapter 6 ye provisions in this chapter 6 if you want me to select anything for you 80e you can ignore because 80e those ssc who, who got sanction of loan during 16 17 previous year only for them it is applicable so 99.99% this will not be tested in 20 to 23 previous year assessment at 23 to 24 based problems or later so this you can ignore 80 you can ignore and if you want me to pick up anything else also 80 jj aa also you can ignore employee cost additional employee cost 30% flat deduction yes or no so that also you can ignore 80 rrb 80 qqb also you can ignore these four sections in chapter 6 you can keep it aside rest all other chapter 6 year deductions must getting it then total income believe me if at all whatever i am telling you first priority if at all you are the best in this you can definitely attempt an income tax for 50 plus marks whether it is mcq or descript to put together and you can definitely score 40 plus easily if not 40 plus at least 35 plus in gst you can score 30 or 35 plus easily you can easily secure exemption in taxation paper that's not a big deal only thing is you must know what to ignore what to give priority at least day before exam if not in the normal preparation at least day before exam you follow this strategy believe me it will definitely work for everybody everybody i always believe in selecting see there is a difference between selective preparation exclusive preparation what i am telling you is exclude that and things and rest everything you prepare selective means out of everything select something and prepare selective preparation is very dangerous what i am telling actually here you see only three chapters have covered in you know exclusions rest all other have included now the these items no agriculture taxation these items no which i am highlighting in yellow color these are all small small topics in each chapter that's it only three chapters i'm asking you to keep last priority in that also whenever you are reading last priority chapter first finish written of income if at all you have time then come to tds tcs provision then come to exempted incomes by the way in exempted incomes 10a i am not covering here 10a is covered as part of total income which is most important so if you take these inputs definitely you will do well you will do well maybe some of you might have a different opinion from what i spoke here but what i what i am telling you here is as a representation of majority of the students like what they do in reality in exams based on that output i'm telling you all this okay that's it so have a nice time uh, take these inputs use the marathon use all the resources and do well all the very best whoever have sincerely worked on whoever have really understood the concept you deserve qualifying the exam and i'm waiting to see you those those of you who really worked on getting it i'm waiting to see you soon as a ca finalist okay all the very best have a nice day bye